Congratulations, you have made it to the end of this GTM for Beginners course. And by now you should have the basics down for Google Tag Manager, know what it's all about and how to use it. Now just to recap what we have learned so far, we started out by learning what Google Tag Manager is all about. So you know how to explain it to a client, for example. The second part was to install it on our website correctly. Then we went into the importance of planning out our implementation. And then we started implementing our first tags and triggers. With that knowledge, we then went on to install conversion tracking and event tracking on our website. That is a little bit more specific triggers that you would need to know about in order to install specific tracking on your website. So with all that knowledge, you probably ask yourself, what do I need to learn next in Google Tag Manager? Well, good that you ask because there is lots more to learn in Google Tag Manager. The rabbit hole is really, really deep. And I made up a little bit of a mind map to show you what else you can learn if you wanna dive deeper into Google Tag Manager. So this is the little mind map here. We started out with the fundamentals and these are really important in terms of the business sense of knowing what Google Tag Manager is all about. You can always go deeper, for example, into technical specificities of the tool or other implications like privacy implications, securities and so on. And there's a whole nother world from Google Tag Manager, which are mobile apps, which we really didn't talk about in this course. But the principles that we talked about here do still apply, but mobile apps are fundamentally different Google Tag Manager territory. That said, what you should really focus on are now the components. So we already talked about tags, triggers and variables, but it actually starts with the tracking code itself that needs to be implemented correctly, which then builds the data layer. And the data layer is a concept within Google Tag Manager that you can't leave out if you want to be proficient in the tool. So this is a topic for itself. The data layer obviously has a certain syntax. You can write a data layer. You need to know what the data layer is in comparison to the internal data data model of Google Tag Manager and there are tools that you can use in order to make your life easier with the data layer. So really a topic in itself. I encourage you to read more about the data layer if you want to dive deeper into Google Tag Manager itself. But then also tags, triggers and variables have their own specificity. So we didn't really talk about the custom HTML tag, what you can do with that, the standard tags, the community gallery that is out there, what the downsides and the upsides are when you're using some of these built-in tags. So that is something I would look into if you want to dive deeper into Google Tag Manager again. The same is true with triggers, a really big field. We only scratch the surface on some of the trigger types that are out there. Actually, it can get quite complicated once you start utilizing some of the these more advanced triggers that are built into Google Tag Manager. And this is all about experimenting and seeing it in front of you, trying the trigger out itself. And obviously we didn't really talk about variables, which can be almost like little programs in itself that are running in the background in Google Tag Manager. And you can do so much with them to make your tag deployment more flexible and add some really cool data to your tracking. So tons to learn when you want to go deeper into the components itself. Once you understood all of this, I would encourage you to practice what you have learned and actually go ahead and use different tracking techniques like iframe tracking, form tracking and so on. There are tons of more videos on our channel that you can check out to see what you can actually do with Google Tag Manager. And then there are obviously also some tool specific tracking deployments like for Google Analytics 4 or for LinkedIn or Twitter if you want to to tweak those tracking deployments with Google Tag Manager, you can go deeper into these specific tools. So I hope this gives you a good overview on Google Tag Manager, but this is only a sliver of Google Tag Manager really, because there's a whole new beast that has been added in the recent years, which is Google Tag Manager server side tagging and running a GTM server, which gets into building up a server in the cloud and proxying your data requests through a GTM server. So that's really more advanced. I would say that you really need to master the client side of Google Tag Manager first before you can dive into Google Tag Manager server side. But I just wanted to mention it here. So with that, you are probably asking yourself, how can I learn all of this? Well, I would go out and build your own demo shop to try out the tracking yourself. Just like we did in this course, having a website where you can implement your own tracking is vital in order to get proficient at all of these different tracking techniques, try them out and make mistakes because inevitably you will make mistakes. And these are good because you will then learn from them, hopefully and push through the barrier. And there are tons of resources online that will help you out there. Measure School is just one of them. You can check out our website. We have a great blog there or our YouTube channel where we have published a lot of videos on Google Tag Manager already. But if you wanna have a more structured 
structured way of going through things, I want to invite you to our Google Tag Manager Essentials training. This is really the next logical step in your journey after you've taken this beginner's course where we are going to go in depth into all of the different components of Google Tag Manager so you understand it under the hood and can reliably and confidently deploy tracking with Google Tag Manager. Throughout the course, we have extensive video lessons as well as challenges to send you through. You'll get access to your own demo shop where you can implement your tracking and see if you can apply the knowledge that you have learned in the videos inside of your own demo shop and in your own account. At the end of the course, once you went through everything and completed the challenges, you'll get a certificate as well. Hundreds of other students have gone through this course already. You can read some of their reviews on the website and we'll have the link down below. So with that, I hope I could ignite your curiosity around Google Tag Manager. You know now how to use it and you want to learn more. We have tons of more YouTube videos on Google Tag Manager right here. And we also have one video that I would recommend on installing form tracking with the help of Google Tag Manager. Now, as always, my name is Julian. Till next time.